Today we're going to discuss and demonstrate Liquidware Flex App 1 and seamless integration with Microsoft Endpoint Manager, more specifically Intune. Liquidware Flex App 1 delivers self-contained Flex App packages in a single standalone file. Flex Apps run as native, they're not isolated, which gives Flex App a very high degree of compatibility for the types of applications that you can attach. Flex App 1 offers Flex App distribution of packages without the requirement to use Profile Unity. It also delivers easy cloud-based apps for Microsoft Azure, Google, or Amazon, and also personal file cloud sharing services. It gives your organization a streamlined application layering methodology for basic use cases. You can always rely on Profile Unity and Flex App for all your advanced enterprise use cases. It also gives you the ability to run Flex App packages offline for managed physical PCs and laptops. It offers seamless integration with mainstream software deployment tools such as Microsoft Endpoint Manager, more specifically Intune. Let's get straight to a demonstration given by Joseph Ahn. He's our VP of Asia Pacific and Special Projects Engineer. As you can see, these are the current FlexApp ones listed in the Intune. I'm going to select one of the FlexApp one in this case 3D Pinball, and show the configuration properties. Now going to the assignments area, you will see three group modes. This app is now assigned to users as required app. That is where Intune Administrator can decide how to layer or remove FlexApp 1 for users. Now, there are a few different ways to assign these FlexApp in Intune. The following example shows one of many different ways to assign FlexApps to users. First, you can do this by creating a commissioned FlexApp1 group, referred in this demo as COMM.com. Now, opening commissioned 3D pinball group, you can see the owners and total members inside the Flex app. There you can add users or user groups for this app. You can also click on the user then see the list of Flex apps already assigned in this commissioned group. And there you can add additional apps by clicking on Add Memberships button at the top. Again, this method shows one of many different ways to assign FlexApp ones to users and devices managed by Microsoft Intune. Now let's apply this policy, then move on to the client side of FlexApp one and see the user experience. Now user logs onto the desktop. and opening programs and features section of the control panel that is showing no other apps besides Edge, Intune Management Extension, and Microsoft Update Health Tools are currently installed on this user's machine. Now, notice on the Toast notification on the right, it shows administrator's Intune policy kicking off, and it is showing FlexApp1 layering process on the user's desktop. If the system detects that FlexApp service is not running, it will install FlexApp service and engine components before proceeding with FlexApp1 layering. First, you can see applied Intune policies layering FlexApp1 service and engine at this time. Optionally, you can also choose to pre-install FlexApp1 service and engine components on the machine to skip this process. You can now see the Intune process layering Firefox in the notification tray on the right. Momentarily, you can see Firefox FlexApp shortcut on the desktop as Intune process moves on to the next FlexApps on the list. Now you can see Sublime Text has been layered. You can now see 7-Zip has been layered. Now 3D Pinball has been layered, and you can see that it continues to bake in the administrator's Intune application policy. 
Now I'm expanding the notification area to see all the progress that has happened so far. As each Flex apps are being layered, you can launch each app as soon as they see shortcut appears on the desktop or the start menu. Now I'm launching 3D Pinball. Firefox, Sublime Text Editor, and 7-Zip. Note that these are required apps according to Intune's application policy. Everyone in the commission group will automatically layer these apps. Additionally, administrator can publish optional on-demand flex apps via the Microsoft company portal app. There, you can layer additional flex apps listed in the company portal app. If your system doesn't have the basic Microsoft runtimes, you can choose to layer flex app Microsoft runtime packages from the company portal before launching applications that might require them. Optionally, you can pre-install basic Microsoft runtimes on the machine if you choose to do so. Now, user clicks on Foxy Reader's install button from the company portal app, and the FlexApp layering process will begin. You can now see the Windows Toast notification tray on the bottom right to see the application layering process. The company portal indicates that Foxy Reader has been installed. Now I can launch Foxy Reader from the Start menu. Now you can see FlexApp tray icons showing up on the taskbar at the bottom right of the screen. I'm just going to rearrange these apps on the desktop. Now opening up the Programs and Features panel, it indicates that all of the Flex apps have been layered as if they're installed locally on the machine. Thanks, Joseph. That was a great demonstration of the seamless integration with Microsoft Endpoint Managers in Tune. I'd like to recap the benefits of attaching applications with Flex app. With traditional software installation like you see on the left, Applications install files and registry keys all over the system, which can cause Windows image rot over time. After all, when applications uninstall, they usually leave files behind. This can degrade the performance of Windows, be a cause for security concern, and can contribute greatly to the number of man hours needed for your software deployment. FlexApp 1 and FlexApp are refreshingly different, as you'll see on the right here. When you deliver your applications with FlexApp, System files and other files within the Windows OS remain untouched, including the system registry. The benefit is zero Windows rot over time. And speaking of removing applications, with FlexApp 1 and Microsoft Intune, it's just as easy as what you saw in the previous demonstration. Joseph, let's take a look at decommissioning FlexApp applications through Microsoft Intune. To show an example configuration, I'm going into an application properties page. There you will see the commission group assigned to uninstall section of this application. This specific example here will automatically remove this flex app once the agent checks back with Intune or the client machine is rebooted. For this demonstration, I'm going to reboot the machine for the process to take effect immediately. Now I'm clicking on users from the navigation menu, then searching for a user that I want all of the FlexSet ones removed. Now clicking on the group's sub-navigation menu, you will see the list of currently commissioned Flex apps. First I'm going to click on Add Memberships and search for apps you want to decommission, then add them to the user. then update the policy. Now you can see both commissioned and decommissioned apps on the list for this user.
you can now remove commissioned apps listed at the top by removing their membership from this user. The flex app ones listed as decommissioned here will be removed next time the agent checks back with Intune or the machine is rebooted. Now let's move on to the client machine then reboot to observe flex apps getting decommissioned. Now I'm back at the client's machine that had all of the FlexApp ones layered via Microsoft Intune's application policy. Now I'm going to reboot this machine. Once the machine comes back up, I'm going to log in as the same client user. Now I'll open Windows Toast notification section on the right of the screen to observe FlexApp 1 decommissioning process taking in place. First, I'm going to expand and clear all previous into notification items showing completed FlexApp 1 layering status. Now you can see Foxit Reader just started its delayering process and showing its status on the Toast notification area. Now Firefox just started its delayering process. Now you can see that Firefox desktop application icon has disappeared. Now the process is on to the Sublime Text Editor app. As this process moves along, you can notice now that the application icons on the user's desktop are starting to disappear as Intune's FlexApp1 decommissioning process continues on to the next list of FlexApp1 application. Now on to 7-Zip app. You can always track the current progress from the Toast notification area on the right side of the screen. Now you can see all of the flex apps have been successfully delayered from this desktop. As a result, you can see there aren't any application shortcuts remaining on the user's desktop as well as in the start menu. Going to programs and features section of the control panel now shows no add-on apps are currently installed on this client user's machine. Thanks for that great demonstration using Microsoft Intune to decommission your Flex apps. As you see here on the right, those machines are left untouched and there will be zero Windows rot over time. I would like to point out that Flex App 1 is a feature set of full Liquidware Flex App. So when would you use Flex App or Flex App 1? Well, many of the main benefits are the same regardless of the way that you deploy your applications with FlexApp. Well, many of the main benefits are going to remain the same regardless if you use FlexApp or FlexApp 1. With either method, you can attach virtually any app to keep base images clean. You can easily update apps without modifying the base image. It's easy and fast to package with both FlexApp and FlexApp 1, and you get a very high degree of compatibility using either one as well. When you take a look at the connectivity and the way that you're going to deploy those applications, that's where you may want to decide whether you want to do it with FlexApp or FlexApp 1. If the workspace stays online and connected, you can use either one. But if users tend to go offline, like with managed laptops and PCs, FlexApp 1 would be the natural choice. And if you desire to use mainstream deployment tools, such as Microsoft Endpoint Manager like you saw today, FlexApp 1 is also the great choice there. If you need Profile Unity's context aware and trigger points to deploy packages, FlexApp with Profile Unity would be the natural choice there. And then, with any advanced use case, you may want to consider Profile Unity and FlexApp. And that is if you need to leverage Profile Unity for application privilege elevation or application restrictions, or if you want to do registry fix ups like registry modifications after the package is delivered. FlexApp with Profile Unity would be the good choice there. Fully tracking the inventory of all Flex apps deployed is a built-in feature of Profile Unity. And if your organization requires an enterprise admin console with delegated admin rights, admin auditing, role-based access, Profile Unity has all of that covered. Thanks to Joseph Ahn for a great demonstration of Microsoft Intune and FlexApp 1. I'd like to thank you for watching. If you have any questions, you can check us out at liquidware.com.